So it comes in this cute little white box, and it's not really a lot to say about the box, it's just a standard box. Okay, more boxes. So we've got a UK power adapter in the bag, it's just a USB. USB one, it says it's one amp. It's good to know. We have an accessory, hopefully this is a lens. Yay, more accessories. Got a USB cable. Oh, it's the old, old style of USB. Bit annoying. Never mind. A lanyard. Two batteries. And cleaner. This looks like the important bit I need. HDMI. Like a mini HDMI. Ultra wide angle lens user's manual. Little user manual. And then this must be the camera. So you've got the SD, 32 gig SD card in a, or micro SD card in a SD card adapter. It takes full size SD card, that's useful. There is a diagram showing which way it goes in, and it doesn't go in the wrong way, which is helpful. This must be where the batteries go. And then on the side, we've got the HDMI, the power, and something labelled as mic. Don't know if it will work. Got the hot shoe on the top. Power button. Twisty thing. It's really light. So let's uh, put it together and fire it up. So this lens, obviously, it's got a cover on the back. Great, so let's turn it on. She would just hold down the power button. Cool, so uh, you've got to set the date time. So this is an up down thingy. Oh, you have to press it, you can't just hold the buttons down. It's a bit annoying. Let's turn the beep off. Let's set the frame rate, which they call frequency. We'll go with 50, because I'm in the UK. You can change the format. No, you can't change the format. That must be formatting the SD card. Change the language, English, French, Spanish, Portuguese, Dutch, Italian, mm, Chinese, and Chinese. I don't know these last two. Ah, oh, it's a touch screen as well. So, mode up here. You've got to have it set to get into your sort of settings. It kind of makes sense, I guess. You've got playback. You've got camera. Yeah, so you can take pictures of things. Doesn't seem to have a focus. Fine. And then video. Defaults to 2K at 30 hertz. So you just press to start. And press to stop. That's fine. And it looks like there's a recording time in the top corner, which is also also useful. So you can change the resolution. So no 4K. So we've got 1080p, 720 p 3060, 1080p, 3060, UHD and QHD. 24 and 30, so no 4K. Loop recording motion detection, blah blah blah. In slow motion, oh, slow motion, doesn't seem to do anything else. Right, and that's it. Okay, so my fingers are a little bit too big for these buttons on the screen. You can set the ISO and get some options 100, 200, 400, but it is not a 4K camera. Let's see what happens if I take the uh, front lens off. Oh yes, that is definitely macro. That's pretty cool. At least the macro lens work, but you have to be pretty close for the macro, obviously. Like, 15 centimeters away for it to be in focus. And if you go too far, yeah, there's no focus on this at all. Um, so it's fixed focus, or fixed focal length, obviously. So it's pretty simple to use, it's just, and this is interesting because on here, it says it's 4K. I don't think that is 4K. So what's everything in the box? We got a camera um, with a touchscreen, as described, apart from the fact it's not really 4K. 
Um, we've got two lenses, uh, although to get the macro you take the the normal off of the macro, it's just the way it's designed it. We've got a HDMI cable, um, which I'll try in a minute. We've got two batteries, not one battery, which is handy. We did get a lanyard, and we also got an SD card, or well, we got a micro SD card with an SD card adapter. So, in terms of everything as described, yeah, kind of. So it has a standard quarter dash 20 UNC thread on the bottom and it's actually just a normal camera mount. The HDMI out gives you the same as on the reverse of the screen and you can turn the overlay off and on. So this is a fixed focus camera and lens. The macro lens seems to have a good focus in 8 to 9cm or 80 to 90 millimeters. The normal lens seems to have a focal point just longer than my arms, which is not great for a vlogging camera. When you plug the camera into a USB host, it asks you if you want a mass storage or PC camera. The mass storage acts as you'd expect, and the PC camera acts as a USB webcam, which I found works okay with OBS until you change the resolution, and then the camera locks up, and you have to do a hard reboot by holding the power button down for a few seconds. The whole Wi-Fi thing, I'm just not sure how that's supposed to work. The touchscreen works, but it doesn't add any value because the, there's buttons for everything you can do on the screen. File formats seem to be standard, and I've had no problems with the files in Kden Live or VLC on Ubuntu Linux. Uh, sizes of files seem to be appropriate for what's in the files, and the file sizes on the option menu are roughly what is included in the file that's produced. Outdoor photos in sunlight are fine, indoor with average lighting are fine also although without having any lighting the camera doesn't do well in the dark there is no detail and with the flash on well it has a flash audio isn't great from the built-in microphone but that's no surprise as most cameras don't have a great audio the SD slot can take 128 gigabit full-size SD card no problem although I did have to format it using the camera's format facilities rather than my MacBook camera card works fine in the Mac PC Linux after it's been formatted in the camera Transfer speeds are about 30 meg a second, uh, and I tested mine with a U3 Class 10 card, so I guess that's reasonable. Battery life is okay. I managed an hour and a half recording video with the video being chopped into one hour files. You can record while it's charging, which is handy, and but charging takes as, as long as what you get from the battery, so it, there's no quick charge as such. So did I get everything promised? Well, no, I got a camera, but it falls short of the 4K video capture resolution specified. 48 megapixel, yeah, 1080, yeah. Face detection is meaningless without focus, so I'm not really sure what they were trying to sell me there. I've got the lenses specified, the HDMI cable, two batteries, a lanyard, and the micro SD card with the adapter. Bonus features I wasn't expecting was the second battery, uh, recording while charging, and the USB webcam functionality, and it being able to take larger SD cards. Overall, you get what you pay for. It isn't really a 4K camera for video. At 1440p at best. It doesn't have a focus, auto or manual. It's a happy-go-lucky, point-and-shoot, fingers-crossed kind of camera. I think my cheap phone camera does a better job with a wider range of scenarios, but I'm going to be keeping this camera because I think the macro lens and the USB webcam features are worth hanging on to for the kind of videos that I'm going to produce in the future. Ultimately, it's better than the previous video camera that I had. Um, so I'm going to hang on to it. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, then let YouTube know by using the like button. If you want to follow me for more content like this, then feel free to subscribe.